There was a time when the entire neighborhood was supplied by the same weed guy. And when he disappeared for a while, boy, it was so annoying. It made me feel like an angry environmentalist. This one time, the weed guy was nowhere to be found for almost a month. Okay, maybe it was like two weeks or so, but when you and your friends are out of weed, time seems to go by like molasses. Dude, where the hell is this guy? <sighs> Let me page him again. That was my 10th time or so paging him over the course of two weeks. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's a bit stalkerish, but we was the only thing that helped me relax and still be productive while dealing with the stressful last semester of junior year in college. Grow your own. Mm. Is this a sign? I had a subscription to High Times Magazine. They always had ads and info about growing your own weed. I never saw myself growing, but desperate times call for creativity. Let's do the shit. <laughs> That's when I decided to give it a try. I placed my order for a few seeds. I read up on growing techniques while I waited for them to be shipped and delivered from Amsterdam. Problem solved. As to the weed guy, his grandma had passed away in New Jersey, so he was out of town. But essentially, that's how I got into growing cannabis. The end.